all right so hello everyone welcome back to another video and from this video i'm going to be starting a video series on the aspect of modeling now i made a video on modeling previously as well but right now i'm making a full video series on modeling which can really show you the emphasis we are laying on this subject because this is definitely the foundation of the system and if you can work on modeling to the fullest that you can it can be a total game changer and it can make you reach where you want much much faster than otherwise all right so modeling is something which i get asked a lot from many of my clients and students and this is something that many of the people are not sure about whether they are doing it right whether they are not doing it right how do you actually do it and all so i'm going to try to cover most part of it in this video series that i would be putting out all right so what is modeling modeling simply means to learn something and to adopt some something by seeing the people around you for example when you first learned your first language how did you learn it you did not read books you did not listen to audios you did not watch videos so how did you learn your first language it was by observing the people around you you kept observing them and then you kept mimicking them you kept speaking like them and this is how you learned your first language not only speaking the aspect of walking singing eating everything that you have learned most of it if not all you have learned via observing the people around you so whether we know it or not we already have modeled this is modeling imitating someone else for an action or anything but in this aspect as we are specifically talking about the aspect of speech and speaking so how does it relate to that now for example your speech is at a point where you are where you have a disfluent speech you get stuck you force out words and all and you want to improve your speech so what can make the process quite fast is if you can model someone who is an excellent speaker and use their speaking identity to change the way that you actually speak now what do i mean by all of that let's get straight into it all right so in order to model someone first of all if you are someone who does not speak well and you look at someone and you see that they are an excellent speaker and you feel like if you could speak like them that would bring out a better speaking you so you select someone as your speech model you say that oh this is the guy or this is the girl or whatever and i want to speak like them if my speech could be like them it would bring out a better speaking me so you select someone as your model then you keep observing them over and over again you watch their videos you listen to their audios and you have a very smart and clear observation of what they are doing how they are speaking how they are using their hands how they are using their facial expressions that is how they are acting so you have a very very keen observation on that you keep observing them over and over again watching their videos listening to their audios trying to observe them as carefully as you can now this is the first aspect of modeling you observe your speech model in this case obviously they are your speech model so you observe them very very closely then what you do is that you move on to the next stage that is you practice speaking like them you practice speaking like them so what you do is that you watch their videos you listen to them you watch them and then you try to speak like them you try to imitate them you try to model them just like we were talking about the aspect of modeling so right here you try to model them like you try to speak like them you try to act like them in a sense you try to get out of yourself and become them all right i would repeat it you try to get out of yourself and you become them you try to become them you try to feel like them you try to feel like you are your speaking model you are your speech model and you keep doing that practice over and over and over again now what this all is doing what this all is doing is that it is bringing you out of yourself and you are becoming someone else in your mind so what happens is that once you get out of yourself 
you get out of all of the unsuccessful speaking experiences that you had, all of the struggles that you used to face, how you get stuck, how you have a choppy speech, speech you're getting yourself out of there and you're getting into the shoes of your model. Modeling is just like acting. What is acting? What does an actor do? When an actor is given a role in a movie, they become that they become that character that has been given to them. They are not themselves while they do that role. So they become that model. So they become that role and they just get into it. That is exactly what you have to do when you model. So once you shift your mind onto that, your mind finds it hard to focus on the anticipations. Oh, I hope I don't get stuck how I speak and how I get stuck because now in your mind, you're your speech model and you practice speaking like them. You practice trying to act like them. You practice trying to feel like them. And these are uh, very important steps that I'm going to be discussing in some of the future videos as well. So you keep observing them and you keep practicing speaking like them. Keep observing and you keep practicing speaking like them. Now, one thing that you have to make sure that the model you select should be someone who is a very smooth speaker. They extend their words, they blend their words, they inflect like they seem to be a pretty relaxed, cool and calm and an amazing speaker. I wouldn't advise you to select someone as your model who is a fast speaker because that might not work in this case, because if you have a disfluent speech, in most cases, you already speak fast. And that is why you have a hard time speaking and all. So if you model someone who is a fast speaker, so then it would just add to all, it might just add to all that discipline speech. So you have to select someone as a model who is a smooth, relaxed and calm speaker. Now this is something that you have to keep in mind. And that is the main reason why most of us model Mr. Michael. Because we have a lot of his videos, we have a lot of his audios that we can listen to, that we can watch. And he's also demonstrating all of the speaking skills that he trains. So all of the speaking skills and everything that we learn inside the system, Michael also uses that. So see, once we model Michael, we adopt a lot of speaking skills just by modeling. So we are not focusing on learning one speaking skill at a time. Like we are focused on, okay, I'm working on extending my words. I'm working on blending my words. Just by modeling him, you get to learn a lot of speaking skills. You adopt a bundle of speaking skills. Many of my clients model myself as well. I modeled Michael. Many of the clients model Michael. So you can select whomever you want, but I was just letting you know that this is the main reason why most of us select Michael. So this is the reason. Now, modeling is not necessarily trying to mimic your model's voice, although you can, if that makes you feel like your model. But what you are trying to do is that you're trying to match and imitate their speaking rhythm. How do they extend? How do they blend? Where do they go high? Where do they go low? What are their intonations? So you're trying to model that. You're trying to model their hand gestures. You're trying to model their facial expressions. In a sense, you're trying to feel like them, trying to feel like them. Then what you do is that whenever you go out to speak, you try to speak like your model. You have been doing all the observations. You have been doing all the practices. Then whenever you go out to speak, you practice speaking like your model. You ask yourself, if my model was here right now, how would he speak? How would he feel? How would he act? You keep your mind focused on that and you keep focusing on your model while you speak. So you're speaking and you're focusing on your model. So once you're focusing on that, as I discussed, you can't be focusing on, oh, I hope I don't get stuck. I hope I don't have a hard time speaking and this and that, because now your focus has been shifted towards model, towards your model. And then, once you keep doing all of these things over and over again, once you keep doing the observations, once you keep doing the practices, once you keep getting out there and keep practicing in real life situations, speaking like your model, you start to adopt and develop this new speaking style that starts to replace your old speaking style. But this takes time. 
you have to give it time you have to keep up with the observations you have to keep up with the practices you have to keep going out there and keep speaking like them until it becomes a habit until the new speaking style becomes automatic until the new speaking style actually gets into your subconscious mind and once you keep doing these practices over and over again you would reach a time where this new speaking style would become automatic and it would sit in your subconscious i modeled michael for a lot of time but right now i don't model him because i developed my own speaking style yes based on his but now i have my own this brings me to the point that modeling does not mean that eventually you have to speak like your model no you're just buying their speaking identity in order to fasten the process of getting to where you want and then once you reach automaticity once you get to where you want then you can have your own speaking style and do whatever you want with it but this makes the whole process faster so modeling x is a bridge between where you are now to where you want to go so you can select to not go over the bridge and for example if you're on one mountain move down the one mountain and keep making your journey and up the second mountain it might take longer like if you are by yourself for example you're yourself you have a struggle with your speech and now you're working on your speech it would take longer although it works but it might take longer but if you model someone in the process it acts as a bridge and it makes the whole process quite fast quite easy modeling is not necessarily easy at the start but it gets easier and easier and it gets a lot of fun the more you keep doing it the more you keep working on it and it really takes your game to the next level it works like magic like in the right in the instant you take your speech to the next level but it comes with a regular with a regular amount of practice now you can model someone for example you can model a male if you are a male or a female that doesn't matter as well because you're trying to match their speaking rhythm there are many clients inside the system who are females who model michael so it means that even if you're a female you can even model a male because you're trying to match your speaking rhythm how do they speak how do they act how do they feel then i modeled michael for my own language of urdu as well that might sound weird michael doesn't speak urdu but i used to think i used to keep observing him and i used to think how would michael speak if he knew the language of urdu and then i used to keep practicing speaking like that how would michael speak urdu how would he say this in urdu how would he say that in urdu and i used to spend hours and hours of practice on it so that observation those observations those practices they have to just keep going on and on so you can model someone for your own language as well you can model a male even if you're a female that doesn't matter but you have to adopt and adapt their speaking style their speaking identity in this case and as i said this can actually just fasten up the whole process and it can make things a lot easier for you so modeling at the start might not be very easy but it gets easier the more you do it and it just keeps flowing on so this is actually what modeling is although many of my clients model me as well for the language of urdu because now they have someone to model for their own language for example the clients that i have from india the clients that i have from pakistan they model me as well for their language especially because now they have some when i was working i did not have someone especially in my language to model so i modeled michael in my own language as well so it works in whatever way it works but it just comes with practice so you keep watching their videos and you keep trying to repeat those exact same words in that exact same way that your model does or if you're practicing it for your own language then you can translate that video in your own language of your model and you can practice in your own language but using the same speaking rhythm as your model then you can also make up your own content and then you can practice modeling like for example I plan about speaking what I'm going to be doing the next day and I practice speaking like my model so I remember going up on my roofs keeping on walking and practicing speaking like my model over and over again and then I just got to a point where it became automatic and you would just feel it when it actually gets and becomes automatic so in the next few videos we are going to jump into 
some more steps of what do you actually need to do in order to model and all so this is what i wanted to actually cover in the first video so for those who don't know me my name is Farooq as i already discussed and i'm working as a certified pro 90d speech coach so if you want to make the process fast if you want more accountability evaluation feedback and all then you can get in direct contact with me and I can give one-on-one -on -one coaching to you. So if you want a one-on-one -on -one hold of me, I've shared some links in the description. I've shared my email address where you can leave out an email to me if you are interested in working one-on-one -on -one with me. Then you can also schedule a one-on-one -on -one free assessment session with me and then we can look at your speech and discuss the best coaching and pricing options for you. We have some special pricing options and then I've also shared my coaching page in the description. There you can see all of the reviews from my clients and everything, the prices and everything that you can see right there. And we can have some special pricing for you in case we get on something we discuss something but for that we'll have to get on a call or you can ask me via email if we can give you special discounts in case we are offering them but i also have all of the prices and everything mentioned on the coaching page so you can check all of the reviews and everything on my coaching page if you want additional information on that or if you're looking for for the special pricing or something you can get in contact with me via email or you can schedule a one-on-one -on -one free assessment session with me and we can get in touch and let's get you on the road to smooth and excellent speech so please like share and subscribe and i hope to see you in the next video thank you